This is my 2013 Honda Odyssey camper, and I've got a three inch plus raise on it, lift kit, uh, which is a lot for a minivan, not much for a truck. It's got off-road tires, snow and mud capable, light bar on top so I don't drive off a cliff at night, 100 watts of solar on the roof, and the roof rack is actually uh, made out of Unistrut, so you can use these little nuts to secure things so you go right in there and i can tie a tarp or whatnot to the roof hard to film and use your left hand at the same time so uh that has attachment points all down the length of the rail here 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 is the antenna for my we boost uh cell phone antenna and then inside center console is the control panel for the electronics so there's a thousand watt inverter with a hundred amp hour battery that's located under the floor there's also a Renogy 30 amp uh, charge controller for the solar and it charges off of uh, the alternator when you're driving <laughs> I'm short of breath because I just had to run across the parking lot so um, two volt meters one for the solar that's facing the other way so I can see it from outside and then one for the current battery state and then control panels for the blower, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, fresh water pump in the fridge. It's coming around the back. I've got my drinking water tank here and then the shower tank. I think they're 10 and 13 respectively. And I can fill them up through this hose, which extends to the outdoors and connects here. And then pump for the shower, pump for the drinking water. From back here, these are on-demand pumps, so I can grab my shower head, set it outside because it's not perfectly watertight, turn it on here, and I've got a shower. The on-demand pump turns on and off as needed, and then that can hang up above. So I'll leave that down there for now. Since I only have one hand, it'll probably leak. Go shut it off. Okay. Uh, this is the blower that goes down into the floor, so it's a bilge pump blower, or a bilge blower, and it sucks through the bottom of the floor. It's up high, so it can't uh, ingest water or anything. And then that's going to go into a panel, which will be up here. I haven't finished the panel yet, but that moves some pretty good air. There's the switch in the front, and then there's a switch in the back here. And then there's a speed control, which is also going to go into the panel, so I can turn the pump to or the, yeah, I keep calling it a bilge pump. Turn the fan down to 50%, up to 100. Even at 100, it's not bad, but I probably wouldn't want to sleep with that. Right around 70% is pretty good. Get rid of that background noise. So this will go behind a panel as well. Right now, the wiring's kind of out in the open. I am going to leave the plumbing in the open because it's like a submarine. I kind of want to be able to access it if I have to. Uh, so that'll stay dressed up along the back, but... Uh, it's still going to be out in the open. So I'll come around the side here. I've got a three quarter inch plywood floor and the battery and inverter and whatnot are down below the floor there. This is just a AC and charger from my radio. Provisions under here, the spare tire is bolted down back here in case I ever need it. I use the spare location under the floor for all the electronics. I left myself a place to sit. The bed is uh, mostly wood, but the back is unistrut where it's tied down. There's a foam pad, slats underneath, and then uh, what is this, a uh, four inch cushion on top. And right now I've just got a bag liner because it is freaking hot out here in the Midwest. So that's where I sleep. And that's about it uh, in a nutshell. Oh, I guess the refrigerator. So I regret selling my refrigerator to Doc, so I bought another one. <laughs> and that goes right under there. And if you're wondering how it stays there, there's foam pads under my floor, uh, under the carpet. And they raise it up a little bit so that that can't slide out, neither can that container. Um, I'm probably going to put drawers in here, but it's kind of a work in progress. Right now I can use it. I can go out places and, uh, you know, camp. And I get ideas as I go and then just make little changes along the way. So that's uh, that's my project. What have you guys been up to? I almost forgot. So here's the drinking water hose. 
so I can get water and put it in a container. Up here, I'm gonna put a faucet, so that hose will eventually connect to a faucet. And to avoid the problem Doc had with showering outdoors, if there are people around, I can hang a shower curtain up on this track, and that's a full surround. I don't care when I'm out in the middle of the woods, but yeah, I don't wanna permanently disturb any children watching some 50 year old fat guy showering out in the middle of nowhere. So there's people around, I'll put the shower curtain up. That is all.